All right, before we start, only 6% of you guys are subscribed, and I get that. Um, but if you guys could sub, like, and um, leave a comment, whether that's feedback or something positive, um, it helps a lot. All right, let's get into it. What's up, guys? All right, in this video, I'm going to be talking about how many graphics cards you should put in your Bitcoin farm. This is a, definitely a debated topic right now because the Bitcoin prices are shifting so much along with graphics card prices and just all of the tech supplies. So um, let's head over to the hideout and I'm going to show you my opinion on it. Okay, in the hideout, we have two things to look at. One is the Bitcoin farm. The other thing is the generator. The way I view the Bitcoin farm and if it's worth it is it is, is how much it's making in relation to how much you're spending on the generator. So how much it's making per day subtracted by the 150000 you're purchasing it from Jaeger. If you're not purchasing fuel from Jaeger, I would definitely recommend getting him to, to the needed tier to be able to purchase fuel from him because it just increases your profits. So with that out of the way, let's hop into the Bitcoin farm. Okay, so as you, see, as you can see, I have uh, two Bitcoins in here right now. Okay, and when we have these Bitcoins, we can go to Therapist. And right now, these Bitcoins are selling for 397000 So basically, let's just say 400000 So you're making 400000 per Bitcoin. So the question is, how many graphics cards should you be placing into this Bitcoin farm? Well, if we subtract all of them, Okay, so if we subtract all of them, we, we have one in there, and it's already 24% done, and we got 23 hours left. Roughly, one Bitcoin is going to be, or one graphics card is going to produce you a Bitcoin in about 30 hours. All right, so for 31 hours per Bitcoin, that's going to be around about a Bitcoin every 1.29 days, 1.3 days, which is equivalent to about... 0.77 bitcoins a day so you're basically making closer to eight tenths of a bitcoin a day around 80 percent okay with that 77 percent we take that we multiply it by the price of a bitcoin we get about 300,000 rubles a day from the bitcoin farm now with that being said that's how much we're making on one graphics card with that we also need to have fuel so if you subtract another 150,000 that's only going to leave us with 158,000 a day now, that's even more than we're actually getting because one fuel only takes 24 hours. Meanwhile, we're going over 31 hours for one Bitcoin. But um, yeah, so it's about $150,000 a day is how much you're making with one graphics card in there. With that being said, is one graphics card worth it? In my opinion, yes. If you get the Bitcoin farm and you just either buy a graphics card or if you go find it, that's going to be making you about $158,000 a day, which should give you a return in about six and a half days of the one million dollars a graphics card would, would cost that, that doesn't include the price of getting everything set up either so it'll be probably closer to 10 days but in the end it's it's going to repay you now more than more than one graphics card is where it gets slightly more confusing with 10 graphics cards we're making a bitcoin about every 22 to, to 23 hours okay with that being said you're, you're gonna be making just slightly over 100 percent of a bitcoin basically making you 436,000 rubles a day now, um, subtracting that from the 150, you get a, a rough estimate of $286,000 a day with 10 graphics cards in there. Now, do I think this is worth it? Okay, so I don't think 10 gra graphics cards is worth it. My reasoning behind this is that 10 graphics cards to me is a million rubles. I can always get out of raid with mine and I can just sell them to the flea market. So 10 million rubles, if you're thinking about just buying them especially, It'll take you a little over a month, around 34 days to pay this off, not including building anything, um, any, of the, any, any of the hideout things you need to get the Bitcoin farm. But it'll take over a month to pay back. So what I would do instead, and, and so once you hit that month, now, you, now you're paid back. So anything from then is still, is still making you money. But for a month straight, you're not making money. You're just paying back what, what you've essentially lost. What I would do instead is go into raid, find the graphics cards, Get out of raid with them and sell them. You find 10 graphics cards in a day easily, $10 million. I, I wouldn't say you, you, need, you, need, you need a Bitcoin farm um, with, if you're only getting 10 graphics cards in there. And the last major one is 25 graphics cards. So with 25 graphics cards, you're going to be making around 640,000 uh, rubles a day. Subtracting the fuel, you're going to be making around 490,000 um, so yeah, about, about 1.6 time, um, 160% of a Bitcoin is what you're, you're going to be making on average a day. Um, and with that valuation that we just had, if you're valuing graphics cards at 25 million, it's going to take you 51 days to pay off however much like the Bitcoin valuation is that you'd be losing if you sold them to the flea. So why do I think this is better than only paying off 30 days like the previous one? 
Well, with this one, once those days are paid off, you're making basically $500,000 of profit a day. Um, and that's not even including because the fuel lasts for 24 hours while this only lasts for 16. So you're definitely getting overlap, but um, you're making around $500,000 of profit a day. That is, that is That's really good. Um, and that, that really propels you forward into like the late game of Tarkov. So the main thing on this is it depends when you're starting. So if you don't plan to get a Bitcoin farm for a while, don't do this. If you want to, if you're going to get it, like ne say next wipe, if you want to get it in the early, early stages of the wipe, do it. It's worth it. Even if the Bitcoin's as low as it is now at like 400,000, it's still worth it. It's 50 days. It's not that much. You pay that off and then you're just rolling in bank every single day. Uh, yeah. Especially if the Bitcoin goes up again, you know, no one really knows what's going to happen, but it's probably going to go down. But I, I would still say it's worth it because graphics cards are also on the decline. So everything's kind of leveling out. Um, but yeah, I would definitely say 25 graphics cards is worth it. Now, last up is 50 graphics cards. So I don't, as you see, as you can see, I don't have 50 graphics cards, even though, even though, um, I, I have another 17 graphics cards and I could go get a few more if I wanted to fill it up, but I choose not to fill it up because 50 graphics cards will not make you your profit back this late into the wipe. If you want to do it at the beginning of the wipe, I would say go ahead and it would probably be worth it. And you're, you're going to get your money back. This late into the wipe, no, because I didn't start my Bitcoin farm until, you know, a month in, probably maybe two. I don't know exactly, but um, yeah, it's definitely, definitely not worth it. For tier three of the Bitcoin farm, you need to get solar power, so you you need this. These are these phase arrays are about five hundred thousand each, bringing that to a million or two mil um two million dollars for the four of them. This is in total going to be around eleven million. Not to mention Peacekeeper Level 4, which might be hard for some people to obtain. I don't think all of that is worth it at all. I don't think that is going to be worth the extra Bitcoins that you're going to be making. Um, if you do, that's fine. It's okay to disagree with me. But that's my general consensus on the Bitcoin farm. I think twenty. I think one graphics cards is good. I don't think 10, but if you want to propel yourself to 25, I think that's worth it. Um, it's all relative to where you stand. If, if you're on the lower side of money, just toss just toss one graphics card in there. You're you're gonna be making good money. And if you if you if you have a lot of money like I do, just toss twenty five in there. Who cares if you don't make it back? You're getting a constant profit, and it's basically like a safe investment because if you you you're you're gonna spend that money somewhere else. You might as well spend it on something that's gonna get your money back eventually. Um, but yeah, that's basically all I have for this video. Um, I just get, I just wanted to get my general general thoughts on it, um, especially since you know. The Bitcoin prices have been so low, but um, yeah, what are they? Yep, so around 400k, which you know it, it isn't bad or anything, but definitely lower than most people are used to right now. Um, but yeah, hope this helped, and I hope it gives you some more information on exactly how you should be spending your money um, with graphics cards. Uh, I will create another video probably um, about easy ways to obtain graphics cards, uh, which I hope can help you so you don't you don't have to buy them um, from the fleet. But for right now, that's all I got. Thanks for watching.